In less than three generations, we have created a very big problem. We now live on a plasticized planet. Plastic is everywhere in our lives. It wraps our food, our drinks, even our bodies. We have turned into a throwaway society that prioritizes convenience, waste, and overconsumption. Every year, we are making more and more new plastic, much of which we only use once before we discard it. Almost 40% of all plastic produced goes to packaging the things that we buy. Plastic is made from fossil fuels, like oil and gas. These fossil fuels take millions of years to create, and we shouldn't use these finite resources to make a plastic product we use for minutes only. Plastic also contributes to climate change. Through the extraction of fossil fuels, manufacturing of plastic products, and then the disposal of plastic, it all creates greenhouse gas emissions. Every single person can make a positive or a negative difference with their choices. In Hong Kong, a city with seven and a half million people, we choose to use more than five and a half million plastic drink bottles every day. While it may seem convenient to buy a bottle of water when you are thirsty, that one action creates a lot of waste. What happens to that bottle or bag or straw when you are finished with it, when you throw it away? Only a small percentage of plastic ever gets recycled. Around the world, most plastic packaging ends up in landfills. Some gets incinerated, but a third escapes the waste disposal system and ends up in our environment. Plastic can travel through storm drains, streams, and rivers to eventually reach the ocean. Plastic can cause harm on land and in water if it is eaten by animals who mistake it for food, or if it entangles land or sea creatures. Every day, untold numbers of whales, turtles, birds, and fish are harmed unnecessarily by plastic. Because plastic is made to be so strong and durable, it can last for decades or even hundreds of years. It doesn't break down, it breaks up into thousands of pieces called microplastics. Along with big pieces of plastic, microplastics have been found all over our planet. Everywhere we look, we have found them. In the air we breathe, in our drinking water, on top of mountains, in the Arctic ice, in the deepest trenches of the ocean, and all through the sea. It is even in the food we eat. If having all that plastic in the ocean wasn't bad enough, there's a cocktail of chemicals added to plastic to make it hard, soft, flexible, or strong. These chemicals can leach from the plastic and end up bioaccumulating in the food chain. Scientists are still researching all the consequences of these harmful chemicals. With so much plastic still being produced and used every day, we need to do something drastic. We can't recycle our way out of this problem because we are producing more than we can manage. We can't remove all the plastic in our oceans, and switching to compostable or biodegradable plastic may only be part of the solution. And we need to think beyond the three R's. We need to reduce the plastic that's polluting our planet, refuse single use, reuse what we have, rethink what we buy, recycle what we can, but don't use recycling as an excuse for consumption. Write letters to companies requesting them to use less plastic. And remember your reusables. What will you do today?